Well, we were we were totally opposite to what Cincinnati was. We, I mean, Cincinnati had the Cincinnati Reds. I mean, you couldn't have a mustache or a beard. You had to have hair cut above your ears. And here we come in like, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, hair down, beards, everything. So we were we were totally exactly the opposite of Cincinnati, but but people just they, they just the younger people especially really loved us. And uh, the hard part was the first year was that you got to remember the Cincinnati Reds were the world champions two years in a row. Right. And sometimes we if we got the front page, it had to be January the fifteenth or something mm-hmm. because they'd win the World Series in September October. It would carry front page till Christmas time. Then we had, you know, then you had Kenny Anderson and the Bengals, you know, before that, that uh, with Paul Brown, they would get front page. So the Stingers, we we tried hard to promote. And uh, we had a gentleman, uh, he's a good friend. I haven't talked to him for years, John Huey. I felt sorry for him. Oh, yeah, right, right, exactly. John John was the promoter, and he, he did everything. Now, when you, you, I'm sure you remember WKRP. Mm hmm, right. The, the the show Lonnie Anderson and everything mm-hmm. else. Well, they, they WKRP out of Cincinnati. Well, he did some promotions that that <laughs> they were off the wall. I mean, they <laughs> I mean try to get people excited. You know, we had an exciting team. We uh, we only missed the playoffs the first year, and uh, we were very flamboyant. We were outgoing. We I'd always say we'd lose a game ten nine, but that would be better than winning one nothing because we were trying to promote. <laughs> hockey right. and by promoting nine nine goals or 19 goals or 15 people went it was exciting in cincinnati oh yeah uh you know defensive hockey was not my not my forte uh it, you know it was like get the puck in and let's go the ice was tilted the wrong way for me coming back <laughs> you know i lost too much too much energy with coming back but uh well, you, you know, tried to be a, yeah, a positive you weren't alone in that uh that mindset, <laughs> I know. to be sure. I know. But I, I always thought, hey, there was a goalie and two defensemen. Hey, if they were, if they wanted to play defense and be a goalie. Hey, God bless them. <laughs> no, no, here they come, five on three. You know, but uh, no, it was. Uh, you know, I tried to be a, a positive player, meaning you know, positive minus. But right. uh, you know, so since so Cincinnati was a hard market, but yet you know we averaged. I know we averaged probably eight to ten, maybe. We had some sellouts. We had. Uh, it was a great. Great brand new arena. It was exciting. We uh, put it on. It just, it just, it was just a hard market. Uh, uh, as I was saying, the Bengals. Kenny Anderson, I think, was the number one thrower. Uh, his passer you know, for the Bengals. So they had been set in stone. You know, being a team in you know in Cincinnati, the Reds were everything. I mean, you couldn't you couldn't go into a store without a uh, with a red with them not playing the ball game. Right. And that was my other good memories is I got to know the Pete Roses. I got to know, got to meet the Johnny Benches, uh, you know, the, the teams that, uh, that, that the players that played on the other teams. And gosh, it was, it was, uh, uh, it's not a big city, but it, 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 it just had all this championship. It had a, a, a stigma going to it that, gosh, we had to win. And, you know, maybe that was why it just didn't succeed as well as it did. But, uh, it, it's every, every all the memories are only good memories out of Cincinnati.